hey class, we're checking out these practice questions. So um, we're going to need to take a snippet. Uh, let's do this one. So you want to take a snippet of this formula. And let's place that right in here. In this little section right there. Let me make it small. All right, cool. Um, hopefully that's not too tiny for everybody. I think that's okay though. I can make it a little bigger. Okay, perfect. So this is our formula for calculating resistance in parallel. So let's practice it. So I'm gonna determine our total for this circuit. Now this circuit has two resistors so I won't need this, I won't need that. My formula looks Okay. So that's what our formula looks like. We don't need R2, we don't need R3. Uh, sorry, we don't need R3, we don't need R4 and so on because there's only two resistors. Let's substitute Okay, perfect. Now, at this point, I would plug into your calculator. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug into my calculator. You guys are going to watch me do this. Okay, 1 divided by 100 and 1 divided by 200. So 1 divided by 100. plus 1 divided by 200. This will give you a decimal. OK. Now, at this point, you have a couple options. You can cross multiply You know, if you want to. The easiest way to solve, though, is to take the inverse of both. I want to show you what I mean. Oh, does that look like a negative one? Okay, so what the inverse does is that whatever is in the denominator now becomes the numerator. So it flips it. So in this case, RT was in the denominator. Now it's in the numerator. Now let me put, so 0 0.015 caret negative 1. That's my new resistance. There goes my answer. There goes my resistance total.